Deadly Yacht Fires One of the most common ways for a yacht to be destroyed is when a fire somehow breaks out on board the vessel and is unable to be extinguished. No matter how luxurious a super yacht might be, it's not safe from fire despite typically being surrounded by water. Today we are going to be talking about yachts that have unfortunately been destroyed by fires. Be sure to stick around until the end of the video to hear about a marina fire that ended up destroying five yachts all at once. Benetti Andiamo Super Yacht Fire The motor yacht Andiamo was built in Fano, Italy by Benetti Yachts. The 36.6-meter-long vessel has a beam of 7.9 meters and a draft of 1.95 meters. The privately owned yacht was designed by naval architect Fratelli Benetti with the help of Stefano Reggini and was built to be able to accommodate up to 10 guests. Andiamo was maintained by a total of seven crew members who made sure that guests aboard the luxury vessels wouldn't have to lift a finger. Thanks to the two MTU 12V 2000 M9 diesel engines, the privately owned motor yacht was capable of hitting a top speed of 16 knots with a cruising speed of 15 knots. While cruising, Andiamo had a range of roughly 3,300 nautical miles. The most recent owner of Andiamo was the famous singer, songwriter, and actor Mark Anthony. Sadly, Mark was forced to say goodbye to the Andiamo after a fire broke out on board the yacht which caused it to capsize and rendered it totaled. It was around 7.30 p.m. on Wednesday, December 18th, 2019, when Miami Fire and Rescue received a call that brought them to the Island Gardens Marina. They arrived to find a single vessel engulfed in flames, the Andiamo. The fire was reportedly under control within a few hours, and luckily no one was injured in the fire. While at first the cause of the fire remained a mystery, after an investigation it was determined that the likely cause was candles that had been lit and left unattended in the VIP suite of the superyacht. According to the investigation, which was conducted by the National Transportation Safety Board, the crew on board the yacht were preparing for a guest of the owner, and upon discovering the lights in the lower deck and the VIP suite were malfunctioning, decided to light candles. Of the three candles lit, two of them didn't have candle holders. It only took a few moments for the fire to start. The fire led to the loss of the Andiamo, which was estimated to be worth $6.3 million. On top of that, there was roughly four $480,000 worth of damage done to the marina and other neighboring yachts. Torque Yacht Fire Rendezvous was a 26-meter-long motor yacht that was built by Princess in the UK and was delivered to its owner in 2010. The Rendezvous was designed to accommodate up to eight guests along with three crew members. The superyacht is powered by dual MTY engines, which allowed the vessel to cruise comfortably at around 23 knots. The yacht was capable of holding up to 8,400 liters of diesel fuel on board, which didn't help when a fire broke out on board the Rendezvous, which caused the yacht to sink to the ocean floor and be determined as totaled. The tragedy occurred earlier this year on Saturday, May 28, 2022. It was in the early hours of the afternoon when it was reported that the rendezvous had caught fire while it was moored at Princess Pier Marina, which is located in southwest England. According to reports from BBC, eyewitnesses in the area claimed to hear a loud banging sound, which was followed by an explosive fire. It's believed that the fire began in the front of the rendezvous before quickly spreading across the entire ship. The flames on the yacht burnt right through the ropes that had tethered the vessel to the pontoons, causing the yacht to drift closer to the pier where it continued to burn rapidly. Throughout the duration of the fire, multiple explosions could be heard from the rendezvous. There was said to be around 8,000 liters of fuel on board the yacht, which caused the fire and rescue services to evacuate the Torque Marina as they continued to quell the flames. It wasn't until around 6 p.m. that evening when the fire was officially reported as being put out. While the majority of the rendezvous had burned, anything that was left sunk to the seabed below. Thankfully, no one in or around the Princess Pier Marina at the time of the incident was injured. After the ship had fully submerged and the fire was officially put out, a spokesperson said that the situation had been handed over to the Environment Agency, which will concern itself with any possible pollution caused in the water or air in the surrounding area. Lady M.M. Fire 
The Lady MM was a 47.5 meter long motor yacht with a beam of 8.9 meters and a draft of 2.5 meters. The superyacht was built by ISA from Italy, who delivered the vessel to its owner back in 2003. Lady MM was capable of accommodating up to 10 guests across the five staterooms and was maintained by a total of 10 crew members. Thanks to her two MTU engines, the Lady MM was capable of reaching a top speed of up to 17 knots before it was sadly destroyed. It was around 6 a.m. on Tuesday, August 25th, 2020, when the Olbia Coast Guard claims to have picked up a distress signal coming from the Lady MM. The super yacht had been in the process of sailing from Capri to Porto Cervo when all of a sudden a fire broke out on board the vessel as it was about 50 miles away from the Costa Smeralda. The Coast Guard sent out two patrol boats along with a helicopter to assist the yacht and its crew who had reported to the Coast Guard that they had abandoned the yacht for their safety. Aerial footage was captured of the yacht as it burned and black smoke can be seen pouring off the luxury vessel. The Coast Guard claims to have intercepted the yacht's crew and escorted them to safety. Although the claims have been disputed and claimed to be false by one of the crews who were actually on the Lady MM at the time of the fire, the unidentified crew member claims that a fire had broken out in the engine room of the yacht just after 5 in the morning, and after getting into contact with the Coast Guard, the crew left the ship and hopped on board one of the tenders. The crew member claims that they waited around the yacht as it burned for about half an hour before deciding to head towards Sardinia in hopes of running into a rescue team along the way. He claims that they made it all the way to Sardinia without running into any rescue efforts. An ambulance along with emergency personnel met the crew at the dock in Sardinia and everyone was thankfully unharmed during the incident. Drinkability and the Donaskild Fire in Rhode Island a fire that ended up destroying two massive yachts broke out in a marina that was located in Portsmouth, Rhode Island on Friday, December 10th, 2021. Both the Donaskild and the Drinkability were lost to the fire, which required more than 70 firefighters to subdue. The Drinkability was a yacht that measured 30.5 meters in length and had a beam of 7 meters. The vessel was built by Ocean Alexander in Taiwan and was delivered to its owner in 2021, less than a year before the yacht's destruction. She was designed with four staterooms that are able to accommodate up to eight guests. The yacht was powered by dual MA N engines that allowed her to maintain a cruising speed of up to 22 knots while being able to hit a maximum speed of 25 knots. Now, being that the Donaskjold is a similar sized yacht when compared to the Drinkability, you might have figured that they would travel at roughly the same speeds. Well, it turns out the Donaskjold was actually quite a bit slower than Drinkability, with a cruising speed of just over 13 knots. This is primarily because the Donaskjold is a sailing yacht that is propelled by two sails with assistance from a single Cummins Incorporated engine, instead of two engines like Drinkability. Donaskjold was a yacht that was built by Southern Ocean and was delivered to its owner in 2009. The yacht measured a length of 32 meters with a beam of 7 meters. Up to nine guests could sleep on board the super yacht across the three cabins, and the ship was maintained by four crew members. It was around 10.30 in the morning on December 10th of last year, 2021, when emergency services responded to a fire that had been reported at the Hinkley Yachts Marina and Boatyard in Portsmouth, Rhode Island. It's been reported that the fire was caused by a group of men who were working on repairing the hull of one of the ships. The boat caught fire, which ended up sending a large cloud of smoke into the sky that could allegedly be seen for miles. Workers who were on the scene when the fire broke out have mentioned hearing loud bangs before most of them were sent running. The fires quickly spread to the two super yachts, the Drinkability and the Donaskjold, and before long it was too late to save them. According to the fire chief, eight different departments were called to the fire to help put it out, and the smoke was so thick in some areas that those working to put out the fire were forced to wear SCBA air and masks in order for them to breathe. It took the firefighters more than eight hours to extinguish the flames, and multiple groups of firefighters remained at the site overnight in case they were to start up again. Both Drinkability and Donaskjold were considered to be totaled in the fire, with no chance of them being salvaged. Marina Castella Fire 
Do you know what's worse than a fire that destroys two yachts? A fire that spreads and totals five yachts, which is exactly what happened in the Marina Castella in Croatia. Marina Castella is a marina that was built on the southeast end of the Castella Bay, and while it's often seen by yacht and boat owners as a safe place to harbor their ships, that sadly wasn't the case on the evening of May 29th, 2021. At around 8.30 p.m. that night, a fire broke out on a yacht that had been anchored in the marina. The exact cause of the fire was never released, with some sources claiming the fire was started due to a technical error, and other reports stating that the fire was caused by human error and started in the kitchen of the vessel. The fire began to rage within an instant as crew members attempted to put the fire out. Sadly, they were unsuccessful. To make matters even worse, shortly after the yacht caught fire, it began to slowly drift through the Marina Castella toward and around dozens of other anchored vessels. The fire soon began spreading from one ship to another, and before long, a total of five yachts had caught fire. A witness to the event made a statement describing the disaster, describing it as terrible. According to the witness, people scattered in all directions throughout the marina, with people screaming and jumping for help. The scene was engulfed in large clouds of black smoke due to all of the burning plastics and oil that were on board the five doomed vessels. The owner of the Marina Castella, Josco Berquet, stated that had the wind been blowing, the situation would have been far more catastrophic. Three of the five yachts that had caught fire were towed from Marina Castella into the nearby bay. However, two of them completely burned and ended up sinking to the seabed. The third made it to the beach, but it too ended up being totaled due to the burn damage. As for the other two ships, they have also been declared totaled as they burned on a pontoon that was located inside the marina. While the destruction of five yachts is horrible, it's a miracle that no one in the situation was hurt and that everyone involved is alive and healthy. That's all for today's video. If you found something interesting in today's footage, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel to ensure you don't miss any of our amazing uploads.